again with another sneaker review. This time around we have the Jordan 1 Mid Bread Toe. Now some have classed this as the Gym Red, but there are two differences between the Gym Red and the Bread Toe. Obviously Bread Toe stands for Black and Red Toe, where the Gym Red has a white toe, so there's a major difference, but they do kind of look the same. So there is a little bit of confusion there, but as I said, let's jump into the shoe. I'm gonna grab the box and we'll get straight into it. So we have guys, look at that box, a mid low box on the front. We've got our price tag, our shoe size. So the current shoe size on this is a 13 US men's. Price tag is 170 Australian dollars. Now the colorway is black, fire red and white. But let's get into it. So here we have it guys. We have our Jordan 1 mid bread toe. Now I did actually purchase this one through Culture Kings here in Australia. They did recently do a raffle that did end um, and finalized on Saturday, just gone. But luckily I actually got it before the raffle, thankfully. So I actually got this one in store on the Friday, the day before the raffle finished. But here it is. Now I have had the reverse bread. I didn't really like it. I felt like there was a bit too much red and black. The white on the bread toe just kind of breaks everything up and I actually feel like it's a nicer shoe than say the reverse bread. But overall, will I wear it? Maybe. I kind of just like to have the shoes here because if I have a function or if I feel like this will go well with my outfit on the day, then I'll have a shoe to match my outfit. But let's jump into the shoe. Let's have a chat about the materials, colors, and stuff like that. So obviously we're sporting the leather the whole way around the shoe. So your toe box, everything is leather. Obviously bar, your tongue, as per usual. So we do have a red toe. We've got the red tongue, and then the red corner just follows around the back side of the heel. We've got a red swoosh. Then you've got your black to tie in, and then your white panels on either side to match the white midsole, which is good. It does have a black sole on the bottom, um, which is really nice. That's one thing I didn't like about the reverse braids is that it actually has a red sole. Now, I much prefer the black soles when it comes to the Jordans, just because of the fact that they're not going to get super dirty. Um, unlike the, for instance, the diamonds, where they have like a transparent um, sole, where one wear and they are dirty. Like you can't help it, unfortunately. But thankfully, these ones have the black. One thing that I have noticed a lot lately when it's been coming to the Jordans is that they a lot of pairs aren't coming with the shoe horns, they're actually coming with the tissue. Um, which like, I don't necessarily care about. So I do have a bunch of shoes that do have the shoe horns and then I have a bunch of shoes that have the tissue paper as well, which as I said, doesn't bother me. Um, I'm not too fussed, but I'm sure there's people out there that are wondering why that is. I don't have an answer, unfortunately. But So it actually kind of gives me a, like a chili red vibe as well. So the chili reds were very similar to this, obviously a little bit different than what these are. Um, but it still gives me that vibe, especially with that red swoosh and the white panelling on either side. Just kind of makes the swoosh stand out a bit more. Um, it also kind of reminds me, it's a bit different obviously, but the heritages, heritage highs, that is, um, they had the red, white and black thing, but it was a bit more white on the toe box and stuff like that. Let's jump in. I'll give you guys a quick close up of the shoe and I'll be back. Quick 
an honest opinion on the bread toe with a cop again maybe depends if I can get it cheap enough I might but at the moment this one pair is fine because I'm not going to wear it a lot if not at all but as again but as per usual don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace out